Typical male, I jump to the idea of cheating as meaning sex, but right. but Melissa, our, a great producer, points out in in her questions, what is che what is classified as cheating? Is is Jimmy Carter right that you can have can cheat in the heart or whatever he said back in back in the nineteen seventies? I mean, what is cheating? Can che can there be emotional cheating? Can there be oh. voyeuristic cheating, or is it is it just physical? I think with each individual couple, there are different rules. Some relationships they have open marriages, so for them, a physical cheat isn't. A cheat, but for another couple that's maybe totally monogamous, even talking to someone other than their lover is considered cheating. And so, when you're in a relationship, the most important thing to do is find out what your boundaries are, and are you both on the same page, and do you both have the same direction for the future? So, here's a really tough question: What if is there a way to look at non-physical cheating as therapeutic in the sense that you're with one person for years, mm -hmm. you meet other people that are interesting, you mm -hmm. develop friendships with them, mm -hmm. but you, you say to yourself, I mean, I'll tell you what my rule for marriage is, I can't lie. I don't right. lie. Well, that's so, a good rule. Well, that's a good rule. I was brought up that way. Mm -hmm. So I can't cheat because I'd have to tell my wife about it. Right. <laughs> She'd say, Hit the road. Get out, yeah. So I think, I think that that's where the conflict comes mm -hmm. in. If you can, whatever you can admit to, you can probably... Yeah, exactly. I think um, when... Intellectually, you could cheat. Even let's say that you're married to someone they don't con they don't care to talk about politics or religion or world events or anything, and then you have a friend that loves to talk about those things. Is that really cheating? I Is mean, that's, it? You, you tell me. You're the expert. Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't consider that cheating, but I mean, to some people, it may be. Any conversation with the person of the opposite sex could be cheating to some people, which they have other issues. I think stemming from insecurity and jealousy that they need to work on because we are human. We need to allow ourselves to have some wiggle room. Or we'll all go crazy. So, so you believe that? So, where do you put the? Where do you draw the line? How do you know when you're going too far? I think you know you're going too far if you're doing something that you know you couldn't tell your partner that you just did, and whether that is as small as you gave someone a kiss and you knew your partner would flip out if they knew, to the idea of okay, your partner doesn't really mind that, but if you hopped into bed with someone, that could be a problem. So I think each relationship is individualized and they have to establish those rules and boundaries in order to have a healthy relationship together. It's not like just one blanket statement. The world doesn't work like that. Here's a great question. Uh, once a cheater, always a cheater. I mean, you know, that's the common view. In other words, in other words yeah. when a woman says, I'm going to forgive you, mm -hmm. and I'm only choosing the woman, not because I'm being sexist, but mm -hmm. because I'm a man. So right. a woman says, I'm going to forgive you. Mm -hmm. But most of us say a tiger doesn't change its stripes. I think it's sort of like any other kind of addiction. Because I think, it, let's say you're an alcoholic and you've gone to AA and now you've been 25 years sober. You're still an alcoholic, you've just, you're in recovery. And I think it's the same with cheating. I think you're always sort of a cheater at heart, but you can learn to move past it and move on from it, but it's always going to be there. You know, I have to say, what you just said, puts it into the category of almost a disease where mm. where SA or, or, or whatever that's called, sex anonymous, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, and that's the Tiger Woods, I'm going to go for rehab. Right. But there's another way to look at this, which mm -hmm. is not that it's the same thing as alcoholism, mm -hmm. but that it's an ego problem. Absolutely. So that it's a boundary problem. Yes. That it's not treating another person with enough respect rather than a disease. Which right. do you think is truer? I wasn't trying to equate um, cheating to a disease. I was just trying to use an analogy. Well, maybe the case. Some people are so addicted to it that they do it all the time. Oh, and then they well, have that's chronic. Yeah, I think when you get to that level of, you know, take Jesse James, Sandra Bullock, you know, that kind of an example where he was literally just seen cheating on everyone that he could, then I think you're stepping into a sort of mental disorder. But I think when you're, uh, maybe you're unhappy in a relationship, it, it, it is more of an emotional issue and an ego issue. And I think when someone has an overblown ego, that always stems from insecurity. Do you, do, if you're cheating, does it mean that you're in a, the wrong relationship? I think it means you've come to a point in the relationship where something has to shift and has to change or the relationship can't move forward. It's definitely a roadblock. It's a roadblock to happiness because you're unhappy or why would you be cheating? You, you wouldn't, if you're in a happy marriage, you're not going to cheat on your wife. You don't believe that. How about men or women? Both. Even this old idea that men have testosterone, that they're, that they're roamers and hunters. To, and think of us as, <laughs> to think of us as just a hormone, you know, I think we're a lot more than that. We have minds and we have spirits and I think we can overcome our physical um, feelings easily if we just think about gee, there's another person involved in this called my wife or my husband. I don't want to hurt them. I buy this. I think it's a matter yeah. of treating people with respect. So absolutely. is that how you create a cheat-free environment? Oh, absolutely. You have to have mutual respect, mutual love, mutual understanding, and there has to be open communication and honesty.